Welcome to CellTech. I'm going to show you another way that SlopeGrid can save you money. One of CellTech's customers had a problem of all the gravel constantly washing out on their road. He lives up in the mountains where it's rocky and hilly. And typically it rains hard in the mountains. And with each hard rain, all the money he put on his hill kept washing out into the street. And to top it all off, the county gave him a nice fine. So Mr. Irwin needed to come up with a solution. He found CellTech on the website and gave us a call. So working with him and his contractor, the solution was easy, slope grid. The contractor regraded his road and put a swale on the left side. This is a drawing of a swale. A swale is a valley where water can travel. And when you concentrate large volumes of water, it pulls all kinds of aggregates downwards. Now the contractor has got everything graded to where he wants. He directed the water in towards the hill to channel it in the swale. And then he expanded a large grid at the top using the whole piece. Then he's going to fill a quarter of it with some crush and run. That's where the road's going to be. Doing this locks the slope grid to the swale and to the driveway. Once the cells are filled, you can apply weight. He uses the machine to track in the CR6. Once he's got it all laid out and filled in, now he is ready to fill it in with some larger stone. We are going to fill in the slope grid with a number two size stone. If you didn't have slope grid, you would have to use much larger stones to slow the water volume down in this particular instant. But the slope grid is going to lock everything together and keep it from sliding downwards. Before you infill your slope grid, you need to attach it to the hill. We are going to use J-hooks. Lay out the rest of your material, connect the pieces together and expand it completely down the swale. You must connect each piece, then you are ready to install the J-hooks. If it is too rocky to install them by hand, you may need to use a Hilti drill. A large hammer drill may increase your productivity. But you need to put a J-hook every three feet down the side and one in the center every four to six feet. Just follow the CADs on our website. And in some swales, we use tendons and anchoring as well. Now you are ready to fill. The contractor is dumping it from the top. He's letting it go in slow so he doesn't move the material. Once it's infilled, it holds anything from moving. Now Mr. Irwin's gravel road, he knows it's going to have a little maintenance every season. But after several huge rainstorms, he hasn't had a problem one. Thank you for your time, and any questions, please contact Celtech.